What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Sieben and in today's video we are going to be talking cash management and cash flow. So this is actually part six of the multi-part series selling on Amazon for beginners and today I will run you through how to efficiently manage your cash flow, how to flip your inventory as quickly as possible to keep your cash flow going, some different loan and credit extension options as well as how to maximize your profit with your cash flow. Let's get into it. All right guys, so as I mentioned, this video is gonna be all about cash flow. Cash flow is one of the most important things when running an Amazon business because you need to be able to predict how and when your inventory is going to flip and keeping your cash flow up is an important part of keeping steady sales when running your Amazon business. If you guys like this content, do not forget to smash that like button. That helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps out the channel immensely. All right, so when we're talking about cash flow, we're talking about the ability to keep flipping the money via your inventory. Every new Amazon seller is always going to be running into cash flow problems and even as you grow and scale and become a big seller, cash flow issues are never going to go away because you ideally want as much money in your inventory as humanly possible. So what are some things that you can do to help manage your cash flow better and make sure you're maximizing what your cash is doing for you? So when purchasing products from a supplier, it's always a really good idea to either use a credit card or try to do credit terms. So using a credit card is awesome for new sellers because you're able to build credit up, whether it's personal or business credit, while being able to run your business. And then obviously you get awesome perks like either cash back or travel points or anything like that. So that can be awesome. That can get you, you know, some free trips for your business or or for some free personal trips even. So that's an added perk and an added benefit, but really using a credit card will allow you the ability to take between three and four weeks to actually pay the balance off. In that time, you're shipping your inventory in, you're selling it through on the platform, and then you should be able to get some of that money back before having to make the credit card payment. So you're essentially prolonging the amount that you have to pay by extending credit to yourself via a credit card. The next best thing to to get with your suppliers is credit terms. So if you've ever heard the term net 30 or net 60, this is essentially credit talk for the amount of days that they're going to extend credit to you, essentially saying you have that many days to pay the money back. So obviously if you have net 30, you get 30 days until you have to pay uh, your balance off. And if it's net 60, you have 60 days. This is awesome because you're building trust with your supplier, building a relationship. Generally, you have to use trade references from other companies so you're solidifying your relationships there as well as obviously it buys you either 30 or 60 extra days the holy grail is aiming for a net 60 if you get to that point with your supplier you should be able to make an order ship it in sell through and then actually get the money back to purchase new inventory before you even have to pay that balance off so this is an awesome way of essentially using their money or their inventory without having Having to put a dime of your own money up front for the inventory. It's not always possible to, you know, get net 60 and you're going to need money to purchase products in the first place. So some awesome ways that you can improve your cash flow is by taking loans. So just like any other business, there's different loan options out there that are available to you as a business owner. You can do either a personal loan, you can do a banked back loan, a traditional business credit credit loan just by going to the bank that you already use for your everyday banking needs. They will probably offer loans and if you meet their criteria and pass a credit check, then that is an opportunity for yourself as well. And then there are other options such as Amazon will offer loans to some of their sellers. Generally, when you become a larger seller, they'll offer more on the high side of interest loans 
but nonetheless, they will extend loans to you and then that's paid out right via your payouts from Amazon. So that's an awesome bonus. And then you're obviously building, you know, a little bit of credit with Amazon and they can offer you bigger and bigger loans as you go. Another option too is a service like Payability. So what Payability does is it essentially helps you go from your traditional two week payout delays to next day payouts. So you can actually be paid out on yesterday's sales today. So you really only have a one day waiting period and then you're getting your money back and you can get payouts on a daily basis for the sales that you did the day before. Now obviously there's a service fee to this but if you are running a really high profit margin business and you just need the cash flow and you need the money to come in every single day this can be an awesome way to unlock a little bit of that cash flow and then you're just sacrificing a small percentage uh, in return for them offering that service to you. All right guys, that is all I have for you today. This is one of the quicker videos in the series. I just wanted to make this video to stress how important cash flow really is. And as you grow and scale, it's extremely important to be making sure that you're always looking at your numbers, paying attention to your payouts, and making sure that you're maximizing every cent and dollar that comes in your Amazon payouts to you to be able to do the most amount of volume in sales as as humanly possible. If you guys like this kind of content, be sure to smash the like button as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That will notify you each and every time that I put out a new video as well. Please let me know down in the comment section if there's anything about cash flow that I missed here today or what are some cool things that you're doing with your business to maximize your cash flow. It would be great to have a conversation with you guys down there. Other than that, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a fantastic day and take care.